In this video, I'm going to share a common team building approach and why for the most part, these approaches are counterproductive. And I'm also gonna give you an approach that we do find works to create a more cooperative, conscientious and motivated team. I'm Jeff Mowat. For over 30 years, managers have brought me in to work with their teams to help enhance internal and external customer experience. When I'm working with those teams, one of the things we've discovered is that managers are interested in making sure that their employees work together as a team. In fact, a lot have said to me, we just need to get a bigger cooperation of teamwork because mistakes may happen. Employees need to work better as a team. We got to motivate them. Well, interestingly, what we find is that often it's not a function of a lack of teamwork. When we look at the organization, we find that their underlying systems are counterproductive. They support a lack of teamwork. Like, for example, if you have a problem with the quality or safety or customer experience, sometimes it's because our employees are measured more on uh, the speed that they do things and quantity that they produce rather than the actual quality that they're offering. So a lot of managers go, no, no, we got to work more together with one another. Well, no, it's that we need to fix the underlying systems that are creating the problems. Now, in some cases, you may have some employees that are not playing along well with one another. Sometimes some employees or managers at any level may be bullying. They may be racist, discriminatory, uh, misogynist. And when we have those type of experiences, oftentimes, times the, the first approach is we just all got to get along. Well, that doesn't work. If there are underlying issues with one particular person, obviously we need to sit down with that one person and have a for the record conversation about how that behavior needs to, to change. However, if it seems to be more pervasive than one person having antisocial behavior or discriminatory or bullying behavior, well, then it may in fact be worthwhile bringing in someone who's a specialist to talk about uh, anti-workplace bullying. And frankly, there's one person who I recommend in North America, and that is Stephen Hammond. He's based out of Victoria, British Columbia. We'll put his contact information on the screen right here. Uh, Stephen Hammond has a wonderful way of helping employers and employees avoid lawsuits and issuing lawsuits by making people more aware of what's acceptable within the workplace. And so that's all fine to avoid those antisocial behaviors, but let's get to what's underneath it all is the systems that help reinforce positive teamwork. And the systems have nothing to do with let's, let's get together, let's enhance teamwork. The systems have all to do with let's get a better outcome, which is the outcome within a sports club is let's score points. It's not let's have greater teamwork. It's let's win the cup. Similarly, within an organization, our goal needs to become let's enhance internal and external customer experience. And when everybody's focused on that same goal, teamwork is the byproduct of it, as they say in Texas. And I lived there for a little while. They say a dog on the hunt doesn't know what's got fleas. You can't get that kind of information anywhere, you realize. So the idea is that once a month, we get together with their team members and we introduce this to them. And then they do that on their own as companies bring me in to stage what I call cast meetings. And a cast meeting stands for customer service team meeting. And in those types of meetings, we talk about, okay, what's one tip you can do to provide better customer service? Maybe it's uh, when someone is expressing a frustration, rather than saying, calm down, we say, gosh, that sounds frustrating. Maybe, maybe that's one way of communicating with a customer that's going to have a better result. Uh, we'll talk about what are our service standards and what's our mission. We should, what are the most important standards, which means if we're going to prioritize them, maybe we should put quality ahead of efficiency. Uh, we're going to talk about proactively soliciting customer feedback and then implementing changes to adapt to that feedback. And finally, we're also going to talk about what I call service legends. And that's recognizing certain employees for going above and beyond when it comes to customer experience so that everyone learns from that. And it becomes part of your culture. The bottom line, teamwork doesn't come from having motivational speeches. That's a temporary fix. It does come from getting together once a month at least and talking about that overall goal, 
A dog on the hunt doesn't know what's God fleas. I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you did, you're going to find more of these tips at jeffsbusinesstips.com. See you next time. 